deer meat burgers. Some of y'all call that Salisbury steak. Mashed potatoes with that garlic. This, or oh, get that gravy on there. With that cream corn, you know this gonna be money, dude. Let's get it. So on these deer burgers, dude, I got two pounds of straight deer meat. I don't add nuskin to it, dude. A lot of people, oh, I love deer meat, I do. 80% beef, 20% deer. You don't like deer. Well, that's gonna be dry. Well, maybe I like my deer meat dry, dude. Two well-beaten yard trick eggs. Put that in there, it's gonna help that stick come together. A little bit of that W sauce, dude. Boom. A little bit of that old two-step original. Oh, we're gonna season it good, dude. Boom. Now get your little hands in there and mix that together well. We're gonna put this in the ice box about 30 minutes. Let it rest. That way it's good and sticky and makes some beautiful patties, dude. Oh yeah, dude, it's coming together. Look at that beautiful, straight, ground deer meat. Eat them like you kill them, dude. So y'all know it's all about the gravy in this hamburger, deer burger steak. I don't know what a Salisbury steak is. Growing up, we know they serve Salisbury steak at school. We call that mystery meat, dude. But anyway, we're gonna do a homemade beef stock. I got some beef and some beef bones. Put your little water in there, we're gonna get that burling. Boom. We throw some big old onions in there. And then we're gonna season that. Oh, there it is, dude. That two step. Gonna make a nice little beef broth. I know you can buy it at the store, but you seen the sodium in that, dude? This way I can season instead of salting, dude. You get a salted. So while we got the, the beef broth getting it, dude, we got the deer meat in the ice box. We're going to hydrate. Let's get on to them garlic cream potatoes. I know y'all call them mashed potatoes, but I like mine creamy and like velvet, dude. So go ahead and peel your potatoes. Use any potatoes you like and dice them up and get them things burling, dude. I had a little fancy dancy peeler, but I don't know where it's at. Things seem to disappear around here. All right, you got your potatoes peeled. Go ahead and slice and dice them, dude. Some little chunks. Get them up in your pot, dude. We're gonna get that burling, get them soft. Like I said, I want cream potatoes. I don't want no mashed potatoes, dude. Get them up. So as you can tell, dude, I don't have a cameraman today, but the show must go on, dude. Let's do a little recap. We got the broth on. It's starting to bubble and double, dude. We got the potatoes in that water. We're gonna get that on that burner. Boom, bring that to that rolling ball. But look at this. I got some old garlic, dude. Big old cloves. A little olive oil. Woo. Little two-step. And we're gonna roast that in that oven and put that in them cream potatoes. While we wait for that to roast, we're gonna hydrate, dude. So it's been about 30 minutes. Let's make these old deer meat patties. You can make them however size you want them. Try to get a few of them out of here. Look at that right there. Look how pretty and sticky that comes out. Boom. Oh yeah, make as many as you want, as big as you want. Hamburger steak and gravy, Salisbury steak, deer burger, call it whatever you like, dude. I'm gonna call it making a turd. Get them in there nice and neat. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom. We'll call that a little small one for the kids. We got them patties made, dude. Look at this giant king cooker, cast iron pot. That's what you make the gravy in, dude. Boom, got your little butter. We're gonna melt a whole stick of butter down. Just like that. Let's work on them onions, dude. I'm gonna leave some really big and I'm gonna chop some up really fine. You'll see why. Let's get on that. Boom. Peel that old skin off, dude. That ain't no good. Get that out of here. That's one thing you ain't worried about nothing eating is uh, onions. Cat won't eat it, a hog won't eat it. I think humans is the only thing that eat onions, dude. Maybe we should eat them, but. My grandpa always said, you wanna get rid of us Cajuns? Outlaw onions and we will die, we will starve to death. 
So we got that butter melted down, dude. Let's get a little color on these burgers. Listen to the sizzle. Boom. Man, it's so works so good when you got a big pot and you ain't fighting to fit them all in there, dude. We're gonna let them brown down. And we're gonna get that gravy on, dude. Look at that broth coming along. We're not cooking them all the way through, dude. We're just getting a little brown on there. Check out this homemade spatula, dude. That's pretty good. Cool. Get that like that. Flip that. Look at that. That's what you're looking for right there, dude. Brown. Boom. Beautiful. That deer meat, dude. Don't overcook it right now. Because it's going to sit in that juice for a while. Let's go ahead, pull these old deer meat burgers off, dude. Put them on the side. They got a little brown on them. Perfect. Like I said, they not cooked all the way through. They gonna get the cooking in that gravy, dude. It's all gravy, baby. Boom. Put them on the side. Forget about them, dude. Look how pretty that is. Money. Now, while you got that pan hot, let's start working on that gravy. Copious, buku amount of them champignons, dude. That's them mushrooms. Get that in there like that. See, I left some of them onions big. Put that in there and I got some chopped up really fine. Boom. Oh, yeah, dude. Get them in there like that. Ooh, I'm getting excited and I'm getting hungry. Boom, get that in there. Now, check this out. Look at that beautiful beef broth, homemade, right up in there. Listen to the snap, crackle, and pop. Oh, bro, take it. Don't be afraid to get some of that beef up in there. Get some of them old, look at them old onions. Now, we're going to let that cook now, and we're going to keep adding beef broth, and we're going to make that gravy. And then we're going to let them burgers go back swimming, dude. Wee! One more little scoop for good luck. Shook. Let's get a little recap, dude. Look at here, look at here. Look at them burgers, dude. Them deer meat burgers. Straight ground deer meat. You know what's going on here. You know that's fire, dude. Look at that beef broth. That's a game changer. You can get it out of a can. They got the potatoes. They starting the ball. I ain't rushing the potatoes. Got the garlic in the oven, dude. Gonna be straight money. What's up, dude? That gravy is sticking it up. It's been going about 45 minutes. We're about to make a little nest right here. Get that out of the way. Get them onions out of the way. Lay that deer meat back in there like that. Boom. Boom. See why I like a big pot, dude? Get that out. Boom, look at this one. Drizzle that with some more of that beef stock. And we're just going to let them. Oh, the microwave went off. And we're going to let them just take a old bath. Let that gravy thick up. Get them old onions on top of there. Oh, dude, you know. On top of them cream potatoes with that garlic. And some cream corn, we gonna eat good today, dude. One of my favorites. Look at that, look at that. Oh, come on, I gotta show you, I gotta show you. I gotta show you. Check this out, dude. You could smell that right now. Your mouth will be drooling. Look them on your own. Bubbling and doubling. I done worked up a sweat in here, dude. It done got hot, bro. Check this out. Oh, look at that garlic. That's going in them cream potatoes, dude. Straight in there. That's going to be a game changer. I love it like that, dude. Keep moving your meat around. Don't ever let your meat sit in the same place. You want to get them juices under it, dude. We got that smothering down perfectly, dude. We're gonna season all that with the two-step, dude. Get it all in there good. Remember, we don't have all that salt from that old beef broth. 
Oh, I'm gonna add a little bit of this. A little bit of that beer. Caramelize them onions. Caramelize, I said, dude. And while we wait, we hydrate. Let's give them a little flip, dude. Gotta show love to both sides, dude. If you know what I mean. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, that's coming together nicely. Them potatoes are about right. Let's get our cream potatoes on, dude. Let's get it. Now my potatoes are balled nice and soft. I'm gonna take them off, I'm gonna strain them, and I'm gonna add them right back into that hot pot, dude. So let's knock that out. Now we got the potatoes strained out, they're hot, hot. I'm going with two sticks of butter, some heavy whooping cream. Check that out. And this is the star of the show. Ooh, hot, hot. Check out the roasted. We're going extra garlicky, dude. Gonna go perfect. Now we're gonna get that back on the heat. Get it a little bit hot, let all that melt down, and we're gonna mash that together. We got the potatoes good and hot. Let's finish the last bit. I told you I wanted cream potatoes, not mashed potatoes. So you're not in the work again, dude. Come in here, look at that, dude. You gotta get them. Get all that garlic. Look at that right there. Get all that garlic in there. Boy, it's gonna be good. I can smell that garlic. Check that out. Boop, boop, boop. Thick. To catch that hamburger steak, which is that deer meat patty, dude. Don't forget to two-step them potatoes, dude. Put a little seasoning on, on them potatoes, brother. And people say, oh, why your face is red? If you got high blood pressure, come sit behind this stove for two, three hours. Your face will be red, too, dude. Get that on. I want them creamy potatoes. Ooh, check that out, brother. Let's eat. Now, how many of y'all couillons would mix all this together and eat it? I know I would. Let's check out that steak, dude. Look at that deer meat right there, dude. Oh, I'm going to give it a little run right there on the corner. Get a little cream potatoes. Mm. Now, that's straight money. So I said, boom, put that cream potatoes in the corner on a cracker, dude. Lights out. Now, that's money.